you have an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Mm. How much higher? Probably somewhere between eight and 10 times higher than that of someone in the general population. And that's the whole episode in the nutshell. Chris learns that he has a very high chance to develop dementia like his granddad and he goes on a hike to reflect about it. And this episode is not action-driven uh, like the previous four, but it has the most important and valuable conclusions of the whole series. Here is a test for checking frontal lobe function and plannings. <laughs> First we meet with a neurologist and they're going to perform a very simple test. So watch what I do first and then you copy me. All right, here we go. That's why I'm meeting renowned neurologist. All right, it's a very simple test to check the front lobe function. So why don't we do it together right now? Hmm? Extend your hands or put them on your lap and then do one, two, three with your right. One, two, three with your left. One, two, three together. And then shift by one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you can do it, congratulations, great job. If you cannot, I suggest you watch this video till the end and take some notes. It's better to be safe than sorry. Our mental acuity peaks in the 20s and then it's pretty much all downhill. So we all should do our best to slow down this process, regardless if you have that APOE4 or not. You want to be and stay sharp, especially in our fast, crazy paced, continuously changing world. Yes? Some of the genetic testing that we did looked at a gene for a protein called APOE. You have a very rare combination, which is you have two copies of APOE4. And this scene was actually acted. Originally, the plan was to look at all the results live, but it was unexpected and, you know, a little too big. The idea was that we're going to do a, uh, a deep dive into my blood work look at my genetics and uh, on camera tell me what they found and, and didn't expect to find So that was really the it. first time you found out? It's the first time I found, no, I found out off camera um, because the doctor, Peter Atiyah, said this is not something I, you know, I want to give him the opportunity to maybe he does or doesn't want to talk about it. So kudos to Chris for being open about it. It makes the whole show much more human. And as you probably know, I'm in the same boat. Uh, Dimension the family, check. APOE4, check. Now the question is, should you test for APOE4? That's a gene which encodes proteins carrying fats around your body. And the Alzheimer Association actually doesn't recommend it because you're supposed to do all the preventative thing regardless. But I don't think they take human nature into account. Uh, we, regular humans, need as much stick as we can tolerate to move forward consistently. So you have two options. You can do 23 and Me Health Kit if you want like a no-brainer solution, that's what I personally went for. Or if you want to save a few bucks, you can do a cheaper test without that health component, download the raw data and then upload the raw data to third-party service like Prometh, Prometh, Myth for an extra 10 or 12 bucks and get your medical data from there. I'll leave all the links in the description and you make your own choice. If you need a solid present for yourself, or maybe somebody else, I don't know, maybe it's time. Anyway, back to Chris. And so he goes on a two-day hike without any maps or phone, just him, his friend, filming crew, and a couple of helicopters. <laughs> but along the way, we are getting some useful info about the importance of sleep, exercise, you know, all the right things we all have to do. And so we get to the main point, the highlight of the story. My grandfather, yeah, he, he has Alzheimer's. Does that worry you at all, that you, you might end up in his situation? Like most things that scare you, they either shut you down or they motivate you to overcome them or do whatever you can to, you know, to beat those odds, I guess. Right, that's what it's all about. And yes, they don't have that many recommendations other than eat well, move, sleep, and connect with positive people. Hi! <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and maybe leave a comment to build some connection. 
But if you want more of a prescription about what to do, um, here's a video about four-step program I have developed for my own brain health. It's about protecting, exercising, feeding and recovery. So make sure to check it out next and implement, implement, implement. Living is smart, dying is stupid. See you there.